girls and guys, they decided from side let's play and we are back with another episode of Minecraft Comes Alive and as you can see we have loads of people here today and they're all hanging around the waterfall. Oh my gosh, what are you guys doing? Um, I think I have a solution for that. Anyway, so as you can tell I have everyone down here and that is because I've moved everyone from the top of the village down to here and everyone should be nice and safe. I do have a special announcement to make for you guys. It's not about me, but it's about two people in the village. Um, and I didn't know about this, but one of the guards was telling me that, um, whoa, 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 what's going on? Who's drowning? What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, you're ruining my special announcement right now. Why are you guys in the water? Get out. Get out. Get out of the water. Get out! You idiot! I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're gonna have to fix this sooner than I thought because apparently villagers don't know that they can drown in water and they shouldn't stay underneath. Come on! Oh my gosh. Come on! Are they out yet? Good. Don't go in there, you guys! They're, they're ruining my... my thing! My special announcement! Oh, there's someone in there. Who's in there? Follow me. Oh my gosh, Steph, I thought you would know better. No, no, Jessica. No. Jessica. You, Jessica, if you go in there. Seriously? Seriously? Why are you doing this to me, Jessica? Why? Why? Tell me. Right now, I'm going to be mad at all of you guys. Because you're all... There we go. Okay. Get out of the water. This has turned into the biggest disaster ever. Alright, so, if you guys saw it, here we go. Wait, Alice. Follow me, Allison. Come here. So. Let me get them to stop following me. Allison came up to me when I told all of the guards about what was going to happen, that we were going to go down into the secret village, that the other place was going to be look like it was abandoned for now. And she came up to me and she said that she had a little announcement to tell me. And she didn't tell me before that because she didn't really think it was a big deal. But with everything going on, she felt like it was important to tell me. So she actually got married to Caden a while back and they're now expecting their first little baby and it's going to be a girl. Um, so I'm not sure when it's going to be born, but hopefully it's soon so we get to see what she looks like. And I'm really happy for her. I want to get her settled in one of the houses for now, definitely, especially since she's going to have a child. Um, but we'll do that after I go up and check on everything. We're gonna need to do this really quick though because this is getting out of hand as far as this little water situation we got going on. So what I wanna do is I wanna put fences in between each side like that. Follow me. I'm gonna put a fence now here because they could, when I get them to follow me, they'll be able to teleport through the fence. Okay, is that good? Have we solved the problem or not? They're getting up on that water though, and that's what I don't like. Okay, we gotta fix this. We don't want any of the water to run. No, stop it water. We'll put the dirt there for now. Okay, we'll have that dirt there, because we could always swim up from the bottom. And then that means we could stop this water here. And this one here. And then now they can't go up at all. But that means we need to take them out of here. And we're going to change these from fences to gates so we can jump over and stuff. Or maybe I can swim over. Okay. She's following me and follow me, you two. So I'm going to get them settled in the, in Maddie's house. 
I'm gonna leave them both in there, Caden and Allison. Again, just so that they could kind of get settled in. There's some empty bedrooms in there anyway, especially now that unfortunately Kendra's gone and Robin has moved into her own house because she got married. I would want to build them their own house, but I want to see how long all of this is going to take because they might not need a, a long... Oh my gosh! What is wrong with you people? Seriously, you're worse than having children. You are. I'm not trying to be mean. Okay, let's get... Not Faye. Why are you guys getting hit? Where's Caden? Caden? See over here. I have no idea where this guy is. Where's your baby daddy? Is that him there? Yeah, that's him there. Ooh, come here. Ooh, I don't think I'm ever inviting, inviting this many guards anywhere anymore. They are uh, a handful to take care of. I cannot deal with this. Uh-uh. Okay, so we're gonna, let's go downstairs. And they could have this bedroom. What I'll do is I'll just take this down. For now, they have, they'll have, they'll have a, uh, we'll get them a bed. Where are they? Oh, the doors, isn't it? Where'd you guys go? Come on. You gotta go downstairs. Both of you. Are you coming or not? Come on. Come in here. In here. Yes. All right, we're going to set your home here for now. Don't don't leave. You left. You left. You left too. I can't I can't work with guards. Oh, they're so difficult. They don't listen. Stay your bum there, all right? You got to take care of your... Your woman, little baby, is going to be born and hatched soon. You better take care of it. Yeah, stay there. I need to go double check and make sure I brought everyone down here. And I can't even do that. I want to show everyone the um, abandoned village and stuff. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that now. I'm going to show you guys the abandoned village. Double check that no one is missing. And I think we'll be good. All right, so let me go ahead and write this really quick. There we go. Is that good? Yes, because we could use this one to swim up. Okay, let's go. Let's let's swim on up. Come on. Oh, today has been a long day. I worked so hard on making the village look abandoned. And then I have this other plan. Remember I said I was going to move Dan. And I also told you guys that I wanted to bring Jake to us rather than go out searching for Jake. So I came up with a perfect idea. And a lot of you guys thought that was a good plan. But you guys didn't know exactly what my my actual plan to get him here was. And I came up with it. And I think it's quite good. So, oh. Steph is still here. Oh my gosh, Steph. This is another Steph. Alright, stay here with me. So what I'm going to do is, Dan is over there at the moment. I want to put him out in a cave somewhere. And I want to make it seem like he's been living there, like he escaped from that prison. And then I want to wait for Jake to come get him. Or something. And then and then that's how we could trap Jake. I know it sounds kind of out there, but we'll start working on it. So let me just go ahead and show you the village. It looks a disaster. Look at it. Doesn't that look cool though? I think I did a good job making it look abandoned. So we have these houses over here. The wheat farm is unkept. What else is there? Let me kill this spider. Over here, the bushes are everywhere. I started growing the grass really long. There's holes everywhere. Look at this. The grass is... I think this area right here looks the best though. I didn't want to blow up my house too much because I'm still living there. But I wanted to still look destroyed and I think that came out perfect. Perfect. And then um, let's go ahead and take a look at where Dan is. I don't want to go too far because I want to be there when Allison's baby hatches. I know it's not an egg, but 
That's what I feel like happens. All right, so see over here, I put some vines and bushes along the wall. Broke a little bit of it. I didn't want to make it look too over the top. Actually, if these creepers blow up, that'd be quite good. Blow up, creeper. Good. Go on, blow up. Perfect. All right. I didn't want it to look. I didn't want it to look too destroyed because then it's gonna look like I did that on purpose. So let me show you guys what I want to do. I don't want to get him right now because I want to go back downstairs. But I'm gonna go ahead and look like there was a hole taken out of this wall, and then I'm gonna go somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. I want to find like a little cave somewhere, maybe. And a part of the area that we haven't really explored, which is that way. Just build a little hideout for him. Have some stuff there, like a chest, a workbench, a bed. Your kind of standard things that you would have if you were hiding out. Or even here. And then that way, I could try to get Dan to, to go bring Jake over. But I don't know how much Dan is going to cooperate. So what I'm going to do... <gasps> Oh, I just killed it. Dang it. I was going to show you guys. It looks so cool. But I don't want Dan to to tell Jake what the plan is. And I don't necessarily trust him fully. So, over there would actually be good to do it around there. Dig out a little cave or something. But I'm going to keep a guard with him. Hidden somewhere. Like behind a wall or something. Have like a, a, a hidden wall. And have a guard there. That way if Jake try, if Dan tries to do something, we'll just kill Dan immediately. I think it sounds a bit crazy, but I think it has the potential of working. I really, really do. So let's go check on the baby. Once the baby's born, we'll start working on the whole Dan plan and see how that works. I think that's the best way, you guys, to get Jake over here. Because it's like I told you guys before, if I go look for Jake, it's gonna take me forever. I have a whole world to explore. So, let's hope this is good. So let's take, follow me. Steph downstairs. I hope no one has drowned, please. Tell me no, <gasps> is that the baby? Oh, she was born. Come here. Follow me. Come follow me. Where's your parents? Oh, look at you. You're fast. Come here. Stay still. You're tiny. Oh, I don't know who you look like. You don't really look at either of your... What's your name? Ariani? Is that how you say it? That's a really pretty name, actually. Ariani? I never thought of that. I never heard of that name or thought of that. Ariani. I don't know how you ended up with uh, dark hair and brown eyes when both your parents have blue eyes. And I, I believe your dad. I don't know. Maybe he has black hair. I don't know. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. Oh, this child's going to be a handful. Follow me. Come on. I want you to be next to your parents. I want to see all of you guys together. Come on, let's go outside. It's time for you guys to go outside, take a family portrait, all that good stuff. Come on, then. Come over here. Stay. Oh, are you mad? She's mad. No. Why is your mother not wanting to take a picture with you guys? There we go. Here, let me give you a treat, yeah? Here, here's, a, here's some steak. Do you like that? How about you want, do you want some gold? I know that's a nice gift. I'm a nice person. Look, it's like a perfect little family portrait. Get over there. Get closer. Go on. Yeah, there you go. And you kind of go in the middle. You don't look like either one of your parents, but that's fine. Do you want to hear a joke? I wanted me to, to give you another gold, gosh. I didn't say a... Girl, I didn't say a bad word. She said I said a bad word. I didn't. You heard me. Allison, I would never do that. Look. What was that? Oh, I thought I heard a creeper. I'm the funniest. Yeah, so don't... Stop saying lies. It's not... I'm not insulting you. How do you even know the word insult? You're too young to know what insulting means. 
Papa said you would lead me over a cliff. I would not do that. This girl is crazy. She gets her humor from her parents, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure. She's a little bit crazy, though. So what do you guys think about my plan with Dan? Should I do that? Should I take him to the cave? Kind of have him set up over there and see how that goes? I think that's a good idea, but if you guys don't support it, then I might not do it because you guys always know best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of the new little baby to the village, Ariani. I really like her name. Like, honestly, now if I have a kid, I'm thinking about naming him Ariani. I don't know why. Maybe some of you don't like it, but I like it. Alrighty, guys. So, I hope you guys had fun watching. Everyone, welcome Ariani to the village. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. Please like, share, comment, and share. And that's it. Bye, everyone.